Hello and welcome to our, our daily devotionals that we are going to be putting out on video over the next 42 days as part of our Inspired campaign. We hope that as a church family, together we can read the Bible overview, the story of the Bible from Genesis to Revelation through our daily readings and, and follow the different people that will be coming on each day and sharing just a thought and meditation to start our day together. Today, my passage is Genesis 1, 1 to 31, the very start of the story, the great story of the Bible and God's creation. In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. We ask that each day you read the passage. Today is Genesis 1, 1 to 31, and that you read it before you come to the uh, daily devotional on video. As I read this passage today and, and thought about it and meditated on it, um, what struck me was the, the punctuation throughout the creation story of, of God speaking, God speaking into life and into being and into existence, creation and the skies and the seas and the land and the animals and the vegetation and ultimately human life. But as he does that, each creative act, each painting of the canvas, each moment of God's creativity and imagination is, is punctuated with the phrase, and God saw that it was good. He stepped back and he, he saw how good what he had made was. There's a passage in uh, Timothy, in 1 Timothy, that says that God has given us all things for our rich enjoyment. What kind of a God does that, that, that just makes things and gives us things so that we can enjoy them? God wants you to enjoy his creation. Sometimes that might be sitting in front of a plate of delicious food and enjoying a meal with friends or family. It might be looking out at a view, enjoying being in creation, going on a bracing walk, enjoying the elements, sitting watching a thunderstorm in the warmth of your home. You know, there's so many ways that we can enjoy what God has made, but God has made it. It is good. It is so good. It is very good, it says at the end of Genesis 1, and it is made for our enjoyment. So today, let us enjoy God's goodness and God's creation and know that all of creation speaks of the invisible qualities of God. You can see the fingerprints, the handiwork of God all around you if you will only notice it. All of heaven is full of God's glory, uh, but only those who notice take off <laughs> their shoes. And, uh, and that's what we want to do today. So let's pray together as we start our inspired series and our daily devotionals. And as we start reading through this great Bible story together from Genesis to Revelation. Father, we thank you for your good gifts and your good creation. Every good and perfect gift is from you, the Father of lights. You've made all things for our rich enjoyment. So I pray today that as we go through our days and as we work and play and recreate, Lord, that you would help us to see and to know and to understand and to contemplate your beauty and your creation and to enjoy it as a gift of God. We pray this in your name. Amen. We pray at the end of each daily devotional that we'll have a moment of contemplation and as part of Lectio Divina, to contemplate really means how are we going to put this into practice? And uh, so today, as you go about, just be very conscious of what you see, very conscious of what you taste, what you smell, what you feel, what you perceive, what you hear, and take it as a good gift of God and um, enjoy that moment. And perhaps take a moment to be grateful for the good gifts of God in all of his creation. Have a great day. God bless you.